Chowder, la garbure transcontinentale. What is it? Well, it's a melange performance that you can see, you can hear, you can smell, and you can even taste it. The performance was inspired by the fact that uh, my hometown, Luchot, in the Pyrenees and um, Albany, New York, where I've been since uh, 1992, lie on the same latitude. Standing on a meridian that exists with or without me, but through me. And tonight, with you too, we are going to ride some segment of my line via the bicontinental shower. The performance really brings together the findings gathered on my line. And the first one, one of the first one, was a mantra that arose uh, spontaneously from this line. And it is, and I'm going to tell you the mantra in the, my three favorite languages, which is uh, Occitan, Gasco. And in Occitan, Gasco, it says, Las causes cajen a un jacen. And in French, les choses tombent où elles reposent. And in English, things fall where they lie. The performance has three parts, three trois actes. The first one, I cook the chowder in front of you. There is a beautiful story about the onions that I read in the Encyclopédie Fabre. Is there anybody who speaks French here? And I tell you about the ingredients where they come from, what they're good for, why did I pick them? An onion was found in the end, in the, in the hand, I have trouble with patients, I don't put them where they need to be, in the hand of a mummy. And it was dry, of course, but it was um, rehydrated and it germinated. This is not the same onion. This is not the same family. The more you do, the better you feel. So eat some pizza every meal. Come on, you know the song. Do you? He was singing. I saw you him singing. Come on. Ale. Part two. While the chowder, la garbure, simmers gently on the side of the stage. I sing songs that mirror the ingredients geographically. And all the songs are accompanied by uh, live music and uh, projections of my videos and my paintings. And that led me to explore the depth of the line, which meant looking at the, the stratas of my memory. But it's a, a memory where um, chronology is, is not an issue, but where the, the active and transmittive feminine energy lays and that's that's a very very important part of the show The second, um, the second song and the second um, 
persona I use is uh, Inanna, the Sumerian mountain goddess. Sumer was the what is called today Iraq, Iraq, and um, uh, that's the only text I didn't write, by the way. It is 4,000 years old, and it was written by Enidwana. Oh, mother! And, and for me, she was the first feminine image that transmitted a a, a, a positive image of my own um, femininity. I write my life. And forget about spying into my vestibule. Write the line was my first response, artistic response, to the discovery of the line. And I responded by making a series of 11 paintings, drawings, line drawings, and I was writing very, very, very thin threads of uh, threads of thoughts. And when it was time to uh, make a text for it, I just retrieved what was written in the, in the paintings and, um, and made the poem. The Brooklyn Bridge. So Brooklyn Bridge came out of my fascination with bridges, and but in, in all the sense of the terms, I mean bridging uh, cultures, bridging differences. It's something that I'm always interested. Suspended lines, tramping their lines, wired above a One day I walked the Brooklyn Bridge on a beautiful sunny spring day, felt very inspired and spent the next three days just uh, doing research on the Brooklyn Bridge and uh, writing that song. On a sunny spring day. So, um, we're gonna follow the river along the ancient stream with the guilty locomotive to Mahikanitok is the Mohican name for the Hudson River. It means the river that flows two ways because the tide is actually felt all the way up to, uh, to Albany. So the song tells the story of a little bit of Minewawa, but also of uh, me going up and down the river on the, uh, the train that's pulled by a GE locomotive, which is interesting to realize that GE was one of the main polluter of the Hudson River. The last song has to do with my name, La Perajita. And it is a promenade, a, a une passejada, la passejada al port de Perajita. Perajita means uh, raised stone. It's my name. I, uh, I am a Perajita. So in a way, the bicontinental chowder, la garbure transcontinentale, is, um, is a personal ritual that hopefully will inspire people in the audience to do their own. And if nothing else, it is a great shouter. So all I can say is, Bon Appetit! Adi Shah.